that there's incredible passion about quality and we really want it to be uh, something that everyone can feel comfortable with. Um, well, we're trying. Um, we'll see what happens. Buonasera, sì, Mr. Grace. Eh, il numero di servizi che viene offerto oggi su internet prende la definizione di web 2.0, intendendo dire che è un'evoluzione che ha dato un salto notevole di differenza rispetto al passato. Lei si riconosce in questa definizione o pensa piuttosto che possa essere più corretta una idea di evoluzione continua? E in questo senso, quale può essere l'evoluzione dei social network? visto che nasce e muore nello spazio magari di un periodo piuttosto limitato, non nel caso di Wikipedia che oramai è una realtà molto consolidata, ma altri servizi tipo Facebook o Twitter, tanto per fare due nomi, che vivono un periodo in questo momento di grande successo, però a loro volta hanno soppiantato altri servizi precedenti e magari in un futuro chissà potrebbero sparire come sono nati. Qual è la sua opinione per piacere? Grazie. Yes. Um, yeah, so uh, Wikipedia is, uh, of course, very much uh, considered part of Web 2.0, uh, and uh, you know, so are all of these things: Facebook and uh, uh, Flickr, and you know, lot, lots of things. Uh, so I, I actually think uh, so. What's interesting is um, the, the whole idea of Web 2.0 was uh, when Tim O'Reilly he took a he took a look at the internet and he thought backwards in time. Um, to what the internet was like in, uh, say, 1996. Um, and he said, wow, actually things have changed a lot. And he recognized we actually are already in uh, Web 2.0 era, and it happened to us in the gradual change way. We suddenly realized, wow, like everybody is doing things in, in collaborative groups, and there's a lot of interactivity, uh, a lot of new software that's changing the way people are using the web. And so he identified it after the fact. Well, since he, as soon as he said it, um, it became an enormously popular term because I think it was, a, he made a really valid observation. There really has been a significant change in the internet and how it functions since 1996, and there is a good reason to call it Web 2.0. Well, but of course, as soon as we had Web 2.0, immediately people started saying, ah, well, what's Web 3.0 going to be? Uh, and I believe that, um, I believe two things about what Web 3.0 will be. Uh, so first of all, I believe that uh, right now we have um, very uh, heavily algorithm-driven or you know, like computer-generated sites like Google, where they're using massive amounts of uh, computers to process lots and lots of data uh, to generate search results. That's the algorithmic part. Then we have the human part, which is things like Wikipedia, where the computers make no decisions. It's a very simple website, ultimately. Um, and, and that's very Web 2.0. So Google is really Web 1.0, the Web 2.0. For me, Web 3.0 will be uh, combinations of that, where we are having more uh, computer intelligent assistance with things that humans want to do, and hybrid websites that are doing a bit of both. And in fact, already I think Facebook is somehow a little bit like this, because when you're on Facebook, the things that they're showing you, uh, the, the choices that they're making are based on your behaviors, and they're crunching a lot of data to help make the site more enjoyable for you, but it's still, everything going on is just humans like, posting their vacation pictures and things like this. So um, the, the, the first thing I think is that Web 3.0 is going to be the combination of human and, and computer intelligence to generate new things. The other thing I think about Web 3.0 is that I'm probably wrong. Uh, and in fact, someday somebody will look around and say, wow, look, things are totally different from in 2009. And here's what's different, and this we should call this Web 3.0. And everybody will say, wow, that's right, it's amazing, we're in Web 3.0, we didn't even notice it. And at that time, whether I'm the one who called it ahead of time or not, I, I doubt. I, so I don't know what's coming. A lot of people are thinking semantic web is Web 3.0. Um, that could very well be. If someone can explain to me what semantic web is, I would have be very happy, and then I might know if I think that's valid or not. Um, so then the other thing you asked was about uh, the future of social networking sites in particular, things like Facebook and Twitter. Um, well, I, it's really difficult for me to predict uh, what will happen with Twitter. I think Twitter faces a lot of challenges. Um, they're growing very quickly, but um, I'm finding uh, Twitter is very noisy and I'm getting a lot of spam and uh, I see some problems that they need to solve soon 
before people begin to say, oh yeah, Twitter, we used to do that, but... It, <laughs>